Okay, hello. Now, what I said I would do this semester is uh, lay out a series of problematics for you. Uh, primarily how you're coming to grips with this material it's through your own reading and through the uh, screening of the supplementary resources that I posted for you for the course. Um, this is the first of either two or three videos. I'm not sure if the next one is going to be a composite video or two separate videos. Um, I'm considering doing one on the meditations and one on discourse on method, or at least the small smattering of discourse on method that uh, your text treats. But um, I figured I would get the ball rolling with a discussion forum for, um, for Descartes. And uh, the subject of this uh, discussion forum that I'm going to be um, treating in uh, very little detail, but nonetheless, just to get you thinking about a basic problematic that emerges from reading Descartes is um, the connection between mind and body. Now, what Descartes is trying to address is a sort of skirting a distinction between, uh, between how um, the, the medievals appropriated through scholasticism uh, the works of Plato and Aristotle, right? So uh, largely um, it, the philosophy that was taught in uh, the, the, the university system when Descartes was taking part in this university system, uh, system was Christian reappropriations and uh, interpretations and deployments of Platonic and Aristotelian philosophy through figures like St. Thomas Aquinas, uh, St. Augustine, etc., etc. Right? Now, uh, one of the major puzzles of the age had to do with how we were to make Aristotle's proclamation that, um, let's see, I've got it written down here. Um, well, it, how do we reconcile uh, the idea of personal immortality, which is key to a Christian inter a, a philosophical interpretation, with Aristotle, right? matter and form being, indis uh, being distinguishable only in thought. This was one of the primary tenets of Aristotelian philosophy, and actually uh, it, it was quite dancy how um, the, the medievals uh, would handle this notion that we cannot rationally distinguish between matter and form except only in thought. Right? And how do we reconcile that with the idea of a soul and an afterlife and what have you, right? So that's one part of the puzzle, right? So what Descartes has to do is to somehow reconcile this notion of personal immortality um, with a philosophy that can handle Aristotle. But at the same time, what Descartes does not want to do, and this comes out in um, the, the discourse on method that I gave you, um, just towards the end of that part five, where uh, what Descartes is wanting to do is not take up the platonic line that would have the soul or the mind as simply pilot of the body. Right? So what Descartes wants to do is hold that mind or it's in some translations, and in fact, in, in the French that uh, the, 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 the discourse on method was printed in, um, he uses the more popularized term soul, right? And body are distinct and actually conflict with one another, right? It's, they're not just different than one another, they are somehow opposed to one another, yet he claims quite clearly that they are very closely joined and united. Now, interestingly, it, 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 what we get from uh, biographies of Descartes is, uh, especially later on in his career when he was turning to a study of the natural sciences and bo bodies, and in fact, it, it, sort of a primitive form of uh, neuroscience, right? what he was trying to do is examine the anatomies of these fetuses and these, these that, would, that, that he would pick up from a butcher's shop and dissect them and actually enter into a fairly complicated analysis of the anatomy of these bodies to determine exactly how the mind, the piece of meat, 
it is connected to the idea of a soul or um, a, 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 like the brain and mind, right? So um, it's commonly held that, that the mind and the body in Descartes are radically distinct from one another, yet he wants to hold, yet to my read doesn't demonstrate that they are, um, uh, how did she put it, I've got it written down here, um, closely joined and united, actually, the, um, the, 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 to the body, right? Um, the rational soul is closely joined and united to the body. You'll find a reference to that on your page 34. Now, for your project for this discussion forum, um, I would like you to engage in a conversation about how, according to Descartes, what he is able to demonstrate the relationship between the mind, the psyche, the, 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 the thinking, the rational, the linguistic soul, right, and the body, this piece of meat, right, the mechanical kind of thing, because decisively he treats the body as a sort of machine, how they relate to one another, right, because it, to my read, he never sufficiently it demonstrates how they are closely joined. He just forcefully asserts that they're closely joined and united. Now, for this, for this, the later parts of um, the, the the meditations on first philosophy will be quite handy for you um, in terms of thinking through the, when he turns to matter and the physical world and that sort of thing, and even his treatment of beasts, right? Um, and it drawing a distinction between those beasts and uh, the human beings, as well as that part of um, the, 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 the discourse on method, part five, where he starts talking about and actually hypothesizing the idea of robots, to use the modern term, right? Machines that are clothed in human form, right? And it's precisely this thinking, this aspect of the rational soul or mind and its close unity with the body that provides the basis for this distinction right, between us and these impossible human automata. Right? So anyhow, that will be um, your discussion forum. Right? Uh, how does Descartes relate mind to body, and if, by your estimation, is his treatment of the connection between mind and body as closely joined and united, right, is that sufficient? Right? Does that run counter to uh, your best reckoning of the connection between mind and body? All right, so hopefully that will get the ball rolling for this. Um, like I say, by um, tomorrow I will have the rest of those videos up for you, and um, it, it, it basically it's going to be sort of a, a, an estimation on my part. I'm going to start off with a general introduction, by which um, I'm going to amusingly compare Descartes to Henry Ford. <laughs> it's going to be something a little bit different. Right? So. Anyhow, um, have good days, and I look forward to reading your responses and uh, following your conversation. Take care.